I'm Stephen Bellman and I wanted to introduce you to another video of mine. This particular video contains information about a question that one of my students from Patreon had on whether or not it is possible to actually paint a painting under an hour. And basically, yes, that's the whole goal to be able to paint out prima, which means one sitting under an hour. And a lot of that information on how to be able to actually do that is contained in this video. So sit back and relax. But before we do that, I want you to indulge me because I just recently wrote an amazing book called The Stephen Bauman Ultimate Field Guide to Plain Air Painting, where a lot of this information that we talk about in my videos and in my Patreon and in my coaching is revealed in this book. It is 400 pages of some of the most amazing information that you possibly could have on painting and it's all right there for you. It's a great gift to give to other artists. It's a great gift to give to yourself. So hurry, run, don't walk and go to my website, order the book and watch this little promo video and then on the other side You'll get all the information that you tuned in for. And at the end, I will give you some more information that you will find useful for your painting careers. I'm Stefan Bauman, and I would love to introduce you to a new book that I just wrote on plein air painting. After 40 years, I finally sat down with one of the best authors that I could possibly imagine for this project and put together everything I know about painting outdoors. And this isn't just an outdoor painting book, no. These are techniques that you can bring into the studio and they apply to watercolors, acrylics, gouache, and oil. You will be amazed at what you will learn with every turn of the page, every paragraph. We have worked through my videos, my information, my books, my blogs, and brought it all together. And over two years of editing, we brought it down to just the facts. This painting book has over 400 pages and almost 500 illustrations. If you see my video, and if you read my blog, and you follow me on YouTube, you know that there's a lot of information. There's a lot of things you don't know that you don't know. I'm amazed at the quality of this book, the pages. It's a field guide. It's a book that you would take outdoors with you and paint on location. It's been organized so you could find your way through my keys. This book explains 40 years of teaching and knowledge one-on-one. -on -one. All the information that I possibly know about painting is in this book. So run, don't walk, and order this book today. Get this book. It's awesome! Yay! <laughs> Tom from New Mexico. He says, I love your new book. Uh, I've ordered a few more for Christmas presents for my artistic friends. So thanks a lot, Tom, that's, that's nice. Um, it is a good Christmas present and the information's on my website. Um, but he says, I know that you're an advocate for a short time for painting on location, like two hours. Yeah, and then he says, how would you do something under an hour? Which is, I think is a really good question. He also has put it out as a challenge to our group. And I thought that was kind of cool too. So. Uh, it is possible, and there is value in actually learning how to paint on location for under an hour. And a lot of times, that's all you have. So if we're doing Alla Prima painting, you want to uh, get that. Uh, Alla Prima painting is usually a painting that's done in a short period of time. When we have lots of time, usually the subject matter dictates how long we can actually paint it. So the sun changes according to Manet every seven minutes. And so if we're doing a painting under seven minutes, it's almost impossible. But there are ways to actually do that. When I teach drawing classes, we could actually do a figure drawing in under 20 minutes and you'll be sitting there going, okay, everybody, let's go on a break. So there are ways of doing that. And one of the ways that uh, you would do it on location, you know, the reason why would be is you have a short period of time, but the light might be changing or a storm might be coming. Um, you might want to be painting that feeling of storm, or like I said, if you're actually in a hurricane and you're doing a, 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 a PR event so that people go, what's that artist doing out there you know, during the hurricane? Um, 
So uh, what you want to do is you want to kind of, before you start, allocate how much time you want, but you only get an hour. The thing that I've done in the past is I would take students on a uh, trip to Yosemite where every corner has a different view. And I would line up everybody and say, okay, we're going to meet at nine o'clock, be ready. And I would take this caravan of 12 cars out onto the road. And the very first Vista place, which would be, you know, maybe a hundred yards down the way, I'd pull everybody over and I'd say, okay, let's go paint. And I wouldn't tell them how long. They would assume that I would be there for uh, an hour, two hours, which we were doing the day before. We were doing four-hour places. So the next day I go, okay, we're going to paint here. And so the, everybody unpacks and they do their thing and you know, all that. And they kind of get set up and we're 40 minutes into it. And I kind of wait about another 15 minutes and I go, okay, let's go. And immediately they're like, what? And I go, yeah. And so they had to kind of pick up their stuff because we'd be leaving and I'd always be right. I, if I said 15 minutes, it was 15 minutes and they got that. So then they would, then they would all pile into their car and I would get them all lined up and I would get their cars rolling and I would roll out and the very next Vista point that was across the street, I would pull them over and drop them off again. And I would say, okay, let's get set up. And they go, well, how long are we going to be here? And I go, I don't know. The last place we were like an hour and it took you 45 minutes to get ready. So I suggest you get busy painting. And so everybody would kind of get busy painting and they would assume that, oh, that was just a practice on setting up. And about an hour and a half after getting started, I go, okay, let's go. And they would go, wait, wait, I barely got an idea. And I go, well, you should get your idea in a little quicker and be moving along a little faster. So then I would drive across the street again with their group after they all packed up. And I did that 15 times in one day. And towards, you know, the middle of the day, people were really pissed off at me. And they would start painting fast and aggressively right away because they had no idea. I would never tell them. Some places I would spend an hour and a half. Some places I would spend 15, 20 minutes. They got really good at laying in something very quickly, getting the, the elements and the idea, and, and then they moved along. So one of the things that I would say for a lot of you artists who are saying that two hours is not enough time to do a painting, I would suggest that you need to get your shit together and be able to get set up, get going and rolling faster so that you don't know when you start setting up. There are times when I've set up for a painting and I've been ready to go and the ranger came in and said, excuse me, son, you can't paint here. You're distracting traffic. You need to go. And that's happened more than several occasions. I've, I've gone into places and you know, big tour buses have come in and been asked to leave. I was even on a set, not knowing it, for a Robin Williams uh, movie called Marathon in San Francisco. And I had set up in the middle of the park. And all of a sudden this film crew came up and they had reserved the entire park for that day. I was wondering why it was so quiet there. And apparently I stepped over, you know, whatever was signs they had. But I was out there painting. And the security guard came in and said, you got to go. And I go, do I? And he goes, well, secretly between us, you have every right to be here. We can't make you go. And so I said, well, then fine. I'm going to sit here. And so for two hours, or I was actually... I was kind of trapped then. So I was there for like three hours because they had to move the whole crew around so that I would be behind a bush sitting there painting. But the whole point is, is that you just never know what is going to happen to you. So getting to learn how to do a painting quickly at the beginning and getting a painting done under an hour is the goal. Try giving you that as a goal. And then all of a sudden, if you have more time, You've already got an established idea of what kind of painting you want to do. You already got that established. You just kind of, if you have another hour, you just keep on putting paint on there. But paint as if you're, you only have an hour. You'll paint looser, you'll paint broader. The thing that I wanted to get to is that the group at the end, when we critique the paintings that were done the day before, which we did two to three hours per painting, we did two paintings. 
we compared those paintings the day before to the paintings that we did in yeah. an hour and a half, two hours moving, going, setting up. You know, the artist got really good at doing that. But those paintings that we did in the critique, and we compared the two groups, the paintings that were done in the afternoon when people were really ticked off with, with me and they were putting paint on and wish they'd never gone on my trip, those paintings were twice as good or three times better than the paintings where they had all the hours. It's not the amount of time you, or the lack of time that you put in. It's how you put your paint on and how aggressive and how, you know, having an idea, captivating an idea, aggressively going in and painting it. It's not going to look like a Rob Ross painting that they, you do on, on you know, PBS. It's not going to look like that. Yeah, that, it's, it's going to be your own version of that area of time. And you might just discover something about yourself that you can paint faster, you can paint looser. When people come and they, they go, oh, I wouldn't sign up for a workshop, but I don't know, uh, you, you know, you want us to paint in such a short period of time, I don't know. And it's like, yeah, that's why you should be at the workshop. Yeah, a lot of people are intimidated by the amount of time that it takes to do something, and yet you could be trained to do it. Is it going to have as much detail in that you would have in a, a two-hour thing? Judging by my students, they painted better paintings, more finished, more full, in just those little tidy experiments that my students were doing than all of the hours they had the day before where they still had canvas that wasn't even covered. Just think, if I told you you have 15 minutes to finish a painting, how much of that canvas would you get covered? Now, if you had the ability to mix the right color, and we're not talking about all that, but you would first try to cover that canvas because the biggest thing you don't want to go home with is a canvas with a lot of blank spots on it. So you would quickly render all those. You, know, you would immediately go, well, I've got to put in... Yeah, at least these trees here, this highlight here, because oh. I've, I, I at least need that in there. So you would plop in those highlights. Then, you know, you look at your clock and you go, oh, wow, I've got another hour. I'm already done with my painting and I did it under an hour. So now I can spend the next hour refining my painting and, and get it. And again, you don't know how long. If you, sometimes if you have an hour, that's a blessing. But when people say, I don't have time to paint, it's because you don't, you don't have time for your lack of organization. You don't have time for your lack of ability or your lack of, of passion or your lack of, you know, whatever. You, know, you can overcome that if you have constraints. And I would say the problem why a lot of planar painters don't really get things done or go out there and do that is that they don't really know how to manage that time and that space in their canvas to get something done. If you watch these really great painters, they can get a painting done in a very short period of time and it will look just as good as somebody spent hours and hours. That's just part of the development of becoming an artist. And the way that you do that is that you practice a lot. To become a great artist, you have to practice. Practice, practice. To become a great musician, guess what? You gotta practice. To be a great musician, somebody who does magic, you got to practice. If you're going to write a book, it's a good idea to have an idea how to write and spell, how to compose, how to, how to structure. Having that knowledge is important. And that's kind of where we start with all of you know, my coaching, with my book, my stuff, my students who I, who I work with. It's all to get those ideas of how to do something in a very quick manner, how to cover the canvas, how to work. So can you do a painting under an hour? Yes, you can. Can that painting be viable and great? You might be surprised. It's probably a better painting than if you spent four hours on it, as proven in my workshop in Yosemite. So this is my challenge for you guys. Next week, I would like you to email me uh, a painting, we can discuss it on the Patreon group, try to do a planar painting within an under, the hour, uh, under an hour. Now, I also want you to be prepared to have your stuff together. So I'm including setting up painting and, you know, roughly taking down in an hour. Try that. 
Try to see if you can actually do that under an hour and email it to me and let's discuss it. That's the only way you could do anything in life and be good at it is to practice. So anyway, that's my challenge for you this week. You could take me on. Uh, until then, I look forward to our next talk on Patreon. Uh, always remember, always paint with passion. Be interested and curious. Try to capture ordinary things and making them extraordinary. And just develop yourself as a great artist. You guys have a great afternoon and have a grand time. Thank you so much, and I will talk to you later. Bye-bye. You see, there's a lot of insights on painting that you don't know, and you don't know that you don't know, and right now you didn't know that you could do a painting in an hour. This is the reason why it's good to have a coach. So if you're interested in having me as a coach, give me a call at 415-606-9074. Believe me, it will save you time, and time is worth more than anything that you would pay, and I'm not that expensive. Therapy is a lot more expensive than I am. So... Give me a call if you want to get my free book. You can do that on stephanbauman.com or you can also order my new book, The Ultimate Guide to Plain Air Painting. And always remember to paint with passion and have a fabulous week. I'm Stephen Bauman and I would love to introduce you to a new book that I just wrote on plain air painting. After 40 years, I finally sat down with one of the best authors that I could possibly imagine for this project and put together everything I know about painting outdoors. And this isn't just an outdoor painting book, no. These are techniques that you can bring into the studio and they apply to watercolors, acrylics, gouache, and oil. You will be amazed at what you will learn with every turn of the page, every paragraph. We have worked through my videos, my information, my books, my blogs, and brought it all together. And over two years of editing, we brought it down to just the facts. This painting book has over 400 pages and almost 500 illustrations. If you see my video, and if you read my blog, and you follow me on YouTube, you know that there's a lot of information. There's a lot of things you don't know that you don't know. I'm amazed at the quality of this book, the pages. It's a field guide. It's a book that you would take outdoors with you and paint on location. It's been organized so you could find your way through my keys. This book explains 40 years of teaching and knowledge one-on-one. -on -one. All the information that I possibly know about painting is in this book. So run, don't walk, and order this book today. Get this book. It's awesome! Yay!